of just one week ago, a beautiful 22-year-old nursing student from Georgia was barbarically attacked, almost unrecognizable, while she was out on her morning run. She was a morning run. She was doing a keep herself in shape. She was a beautiful young woman. She was a great person, best nursing student there was. I spoke to her parents yesterday. They're incredible people. They're devastated beyond, beyond belief. But she was beautiful, just so beautiful in so many ways and brutally assaulted, horrifically beaten, kidnapped and savagely murdered. The monster that charged, uh, charged in the death is an illegal alien migrant who was led into our country and released into our communities by crooked Joe Biden. He's crooked. I took the name away from Hillary because she's no longer relevant, I guess. She was terrible, but he is, what he is doing is just unbelievable. Joe Biden will never say Lake and Riley's name, but we will say it and we will remember. We're not going to forget her. It's been just a horrible story that we've had to live with for the last few days. It's hard to believe. And her parents are just, they can never be the same. The impact of a tragic incident involving a young woman named Lakin Riley on Joe Biden's immigration policies. It highlights the Democratic perspective, emphasizing concerns about border security, illegal immigration, and the consequences of lenient policies. It delves into the emotional aspects of the story, stressing the need for empathy and ethical reflection when discussing individual tragedies in a political context. The accusation by Donald Trump labeling Biden as crooked for his immigration policies is also mentioned along with the urgency to reinforce immigration controls in light of victims' innocence and the brutality of the crime. Biden's omission of Riley's name is seen as a critique of his administration's handling of such incidents, inviting public scrutiny. The article emphasizes the importance of addressing structural issues and understanding the complexity of immigration challenges while upholding the dignity of individual lives rather than engaging in simplistic blame games. 